because, you know, those are outside the bounds of science at the moment. Though, if anyone has a time machine, I wouldn't mind seeing it. You know, fly around time a bit, see what it's all like. What the heck is going on here? Okay, mm. uh, let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kit Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the same name Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tan will be arrested by a looking cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. Uh, he is. Events, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. You need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, mm -hmm. find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. And we're all dudded up. And the can't forget the face really mustache. Necessary. It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too and dangerous. You may be why'd you pick that mustache? It's... Features, yeah. But ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. I'm just scratch. I'll find a safe place. Face it, you're kind of, you know, bland. Fit to bill. You can find brown hair, TV. blue eyes. Meh. I mean, heck, if you have brown hair, blonde. Uh, brown hair and brown eyes. <laughs> nah, that's even more nondescript. Alrighty. Let's uh, just up here. Let's take a look at the control console. Yoda. Huh, it looks like Emmett's been busy. Very busy. Alrighty. Continuing on. Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I right? Uh, seediness? Seediness? Well, yeah, I'm heading there, but... Can't you tell me the way? Down! Straight down! The last stop before the inferno. Uh, Self-righteous little... Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you. But I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. Listen to the song of my people. You say lost your self-respect, but you should care. <laughs> what in heaven's name? Yay! Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Saved Brown. by experimental you know prototype. experiment. <laughs> momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, to advance the human condition, of course. And you know, he's not oh, too human testing, yes? Mr. Corleone, what are you doing in that getup? <clears throat> going undercover. I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. Yeah. You'll have to get an eye for and my Emmett experiment. knew who I was straight away, yeah, but not. Water Yo, despite the my nondescript features. Things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ani and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Yeah, we'll come over here and talk to Emmett first. Right. You're just in time. Thanks for watching so, uh, Einstein. Thanks for watching Einstein while I've been <coughs> away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. Almost as if he'd been working with me for years. More like decades. <laughs> Literally. Uh, what are you doing? What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one-quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio-controlled car? A flying no. radio-controlled well, yes, car. But that'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. <coughs> Have you been? What's been, been up in, to I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself Good full time you. to a life of science. Live your passion. Aha, got it. Got what? I'll show you. Ready to go, Einstein? Woof. Watch this. When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, 
You're gonna see some serious cow flop. Cow flop. Ah, the reused line. A flying car. Einstein. Oh, get him out of there. Not to worry. Seriously, how did you invent a flying car so early? See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. Hey, yeah, he's still flying. Go, Diney. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Oh, well, we might be able to get him to help. Come on, gotta run over here. Because he can't do anything while he's watching, so let's talk to Miss Edna. Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Let's see, I've got a story for you. I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Uh, do 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 Would be inventor strands dog on courthouse. Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake, Mr. Brown. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run. Trial run. Public hazard, I call it. Aye. Uh, and I'm sure my editor will agree. Yep. Self-righteous little twit. Come here, Heine! Come on, boy. Spire escapes this way. Alright, I guess I gotta talk to Doc. Well then, if you refuse... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I've gotta go talk to Doc first. You know, old Doc, not young Doc. Too many Docs. Time travel. Ugh. Transients welcome. Hey Doc, how's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? Join the park. Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never or had maybe you're old and don't have a memory. Like he's doing. No matter. Those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Frankenstein. Yes. Right now, my younger <laughs> self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Yeah, we have to get Why? this info. Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. It doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, Glad no. they're not. But during that famous scene when Colin and Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower and that bolt of lightning struck. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. <laughs> Alrighty. Save Einstein. Damn, it's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. What can we do? Hmm. Yet he willingly not gets into a just flying get car. Just distracted and I'll handle the rest. Hmm. Well, time to get her distracted again. Alright, come on. One distraction coming up. Across the road. Why? Seriously? <laughs> I couldn't cross the road on that side of the sign. I had to cross the road on this side. Alright, come on over here to Miss Edna. She has so much stuff, you know, piled around her. Edna! I've got a story for you. Blah blah blah. What? New angle, a new angle on, on the Emmett, Emmett Brown story. story. What is it? It's even worse than you thought. Oh Lord, Mr. Brown. What is it now, Mr. Brown? I could ask the same question of you, Miss Strickland. This yeah, why do you come keep uh, bothering me? This represents a clear and present danger to public and safety. And there he goes. A clear and present danger to public safety. Your singing voice. It's no need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. 
flying cars of all the ridiculous juvenile you me, but just imagine a world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past i might be more yeah now they'd be air crashes voyage having ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another i'm working on getting him down huh. hey how did you get down clever dog good boy well, fortune favors you tonight but i warn you to be more careful in the future now how to get that rocket car back down. And it's stuck in the moon.